going live and done for coming everyone welcome back welcome back welcome back fine wednesday to y'all today and if you uh, saw my post there you know what time it is cube time should we do some dumb shit will i ever learn that eureka is a trap every fucking time no I i'm not going to we, we know we know better than that so everyone already knows what this format is we're gonna do some big dumb shit we're gonna have some fucking fun those of you who don't already, go ahead and drop me a follow on all my socials there, Instagram, Facebook, to see my uh, streaming schedule, dorky puppy pictures, and of course, uh, any other money-sucking hobby I have that I feel like posting about, and catch the replays of these streams on YouTube if you can't catch them live. Thank you for all those people who have decided to go and check them out that way. But uh, anyways, yeah, we're, we're going to drink some beer, we're going to have some fun, we're going to draft a fucking terrible deck, and we're going to have a good time. Um, yeah, so, actually... Repping Infusion tonight, another local beer, yeah, local brewery. Clearly, I've been fucking hitting this too hard with only two sips down. We got their Dunkel, uh, Wilder Dunkel. It, it's good. It's a good German beer. Fig figure it's appropriate for today. But yeah, let, let's have some fun. Let, let's draft. Do, do some dumb shit and draft. All right. Let's see, I, I always like to either do like show and tell, Eureka, Reanimator, shit like that. We're, we're here for the big dumb things you can do. That's why I love Vintage Cube. Uh, this one is updated with cards from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, which just released last week, I think. Excuse me. I don't know. I haven't paid that close attention to actual standard sets in a while. Um, but yeah, so let's see. I already have six people. And one of them left. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, that is what we're going to be uh, battling with here, is people people are drafting Kamigawa right now because that new Basaju is worth like $50 a pop online, so there's actually an insane amount of people drafting Sanded right now compared to normal, so we'll see what we can do, but we're, we're almost there. We're going to have some fun, do some dumb shit. Hopefully, we can win some games. Let, let's get that sweet, sweet... Uh, 3-0. All right, pack one, pick one. Let's fucking go. Okay. Ooh, we got Hoof Daddy. We already got big shit. Um, Yogmoth's Will is always fun. Uh, Archon of Hours, Reach, and Kogla. We got Donkey Kong over here. Um, those are some big guys. We can go more value-y shit. Um, we can try to see if we can draft an artifact deck of some sort. Because you can do some broken artifact shit with Dak Faden. Um, Palace Jailer is always decent, um, if you want to go more controlly, like value engine sort of thing. Um, I'm actually kind of leaning toward DAC and trying to see if we can do broken artifact shenanigans. Um, Hoof Daddy is good, but we also need to go super wide, so it would have to be like a shitload of mana dorks. I, uh, yeah, we're gonna go with DAC. We're gonna see if we can do artifact shenanigans. All right, all right. Pack two. Okay. Hey, artifact bullshit. Um, so let's see here. Dockside Extortionist is eh. Cor Corrosive Portal? What's this do again? Votes for Carnage and Homage. More votes. Sacrifice Portal and destroy all non land permanents. Um, I'm tempted to do that. That's good. Doretti's another good artifact. Thing. If we want to force something fucking broken, Faithless Looting is a great way to get shit in the graveyard. But I'm not... I mean, granted, it's only pack two. Um, I, I think we're going to stick with the artifact theme for now. See what else comes. We can always pivot if some other shit pops up that looks good. All right, we're we're going to go with Planeswalker Artifact Tribal. <laughs> see, see how that goes, right? Let alone the fact that I'm not really seeing any broken artifacts yet, and I've passed a bunch. Okay, ooh, ooh, okay, I like that. Chrome Box is good. Um, <laughs> we can try to do our five card bullshit we did last time. Um, I'm, I'm thinking Chrome Box, honestly, for what we're going off of here. Uh, mana fixing with the Missy Rainforest is always good. Um... Yeah, uh, it's Chromox. We're, we're going Chromox. We're going to go Chromox. It's fine. It goes with our theme. It's mana ramping. It's mana fixing. 
So we're, we're gonna try that. Ooh, Armageddon, yay. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm half tempted to say fuck it and start trying to do Dark Depths bullshit. Um, so not much doing what we want here. We could try grabbing, what the fuck does this thing do? Charger, charger, battle. Um, I mean, we could always grab this as a backup if we want to pivot into reanimator, if we start seeing all that kind of shit go around. Sacred Foundry isn't bad. Deserted Beach isn't bad if we want to get some mana fixing. Um, Ren and Six isn't bad. Uh, you, you know, I think we're actually going to grab the land. We can pivot into white if we see some good white cards. Uh, ooh, G speaking of Kamigawa, um, Lotus Bloom is always good. Wow, oh, Birthing Pod's actually really funny, but I don't feel like we have enough creatures for that. Um, I almost want to start grabbing reanimator targets and shit. Lotus Bloom is good if we want to keep going with artifact theme. Holy fuck, my work phone is blowing up. What the fuck? Um... Do, do, do. What are we doing here? I'm not seeing enough reanimator shit, so I think I'm just gonna grab the artifact still. Yes, Nahiri. I know, I know. Your life is so hard. I'm sorry. How about you come be internet famous with your father? So we've got a lot of mana ramp. Um <sighs> I actually am getting really tempted to pivot into Reanimator. There's just, <laughs> Jesus Christ, just so many good things popping around. Um, Sword of Feast and Famine isn't bad. Peasy isn't bad. It's good filtering and card draw. You know, I think we're gonna take that actually. We're gonna see what goes on here. I don't wanna just try to like, like yes, I kinda wanna pivot into bullshit like that. Ooh, Tezzeret is always good. Ooh, Goldspan Dragon creates tokens. Um, smoke stacks if we want to go stacksy again. Uh, I think we're going to grab Tezzerator. Uh, we do need more artifacts, though. We'll see. We'll see. Worst case scenario, this sucks. We drop out and we try again. Um, ooh, Inkwell Leviathan is bad for what we're trying to do here. Um... Spear of Heliod? Creatures get plus one, plus one? Eh. Silent Clearing isn't bad, but again, it's giving us mana and cards we don't really give a fuck about. Uh, I think we're going to grab the Inkwell Leviathan. It's an artifact creature, so it actually kind of fits on theme with what we're doing here, and it gives us a finisher. Um, and what we're doing, we might, we might as well grab Esper Sentinel at this point. Like, that tabled. We're in an artifact theme. Like, might as well grab it, right? We, we're kind of Jeskai artifacts at this point. I would like some more blue red lands. I want to say I saw a steam vents table or go around earlier, but we'll see. That is the one thing I have noticed with these cubes is a lot of people tend to overlook the lands. So they do tend to table a lot, which is nice. Um, uh, skull clamp. Yeah, let's grab Skull Clamp. It's kind of on theme with what we're doing, and we can produce tokens with Season Pyromancer to get a card draw engine going. I think I think that's actually probably a good idea. Let's see, we'll see. Um, with what we got going on, you know what? Fuck it. Just in case we want to pivot into. Uh, I know it's not gonna happen, but whatever. Um, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna have Armageddon too. Fuck it. Um, creates tokens, card draw, something. Yeah, sure. Fuck it. Most of this shit doesn't really matter. Um, Rotting Boy. Sure, we'll throw him in the sideboard. This deck isn't looking. S hey, smoke stack. <laughs> it came back around, guys. We can do stacks again. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Walking Ballista. That's good. That's good. Tangle wire if we really want to go fucking hardcore that way. Um Hero Blade Hold. 
the Everflowing Channel is this great mana ramp. I actually really like the look of that. Uh, but some of this other stuff is really good. Like Walking Ballista would be a great uh, pick here. Sphinx of the Steel Wind is actually pretty fucking sweet. Um, Living Death is reanimation if we want to start actually pivoting into reanimation. But I think we're kind of hardcore onto the Scrap Heap Scrounger. It's a recursive artifact creature that does things. Um, I think we're going to grab the ramp, honestly. Okay, now we got some signets. Signets are good. More mana fixing. Um, based off of what we're doing, we're going to want the Rakdos signet. I am tempted to get this, but we only have one white card. <laughs> so I don't really know if it's going to do much. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and grab the signet. I think we need to start. Ooh, more mana rocks. Uh, mana rocks are good. Mana rocks are very good. Holy fuck, this is some crazy shit. Okay, um, I wish we had grabbed that fucking, uh, whatchamacallit now, the Ulamog we saw earlier, to just do Artifact Ramp. Actually, Mind Slaver is pretty, Mind Slaver is pretty tempting. Um, I'm debating what's gonna wheel, Thran Dynamo, or the Mind Slaver, which one's gonna wheel? Um, I feel like Mind Slaver is probably gonna wheel before Thran Dynamo does. So we're gonna grab that, hope that that wheels. Urza Saga, not bad. Uh, Caracas can be funny. Ooh, Tinker. I actually think that's probably exactly what we want here. We'd love to see a Blight Steel. We'd also love to see some fucking power. Like, power would be sweet. I think we're gonna grab the Tinker. I think that is the correct choice here. Um, doo -doo -doo. I really am tempted to just fucking pivot over into a uh, Whatchamacallit, reanimator. All the fucking reanimator targets are showing up here. Um, I'm thinking maybe just grab the land for mana fixing. Um, it can, I mean, it can snag at the Sacred Foundry. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Tudor. I should have just gone big dumb shit. I really should have. All of the big. Can we pivot? Halfway through pack two, can we pivot? <laughs> um, nah, I think we're gonna go Bowmat Courier. If we got time, we'll do another one. Oh, there, yep, there we go. That's exactly what we're fucking looking for. Blight Steel in a heartbeat. Not even looking at the rest of the pack. Okay, guys, I feel much better about where we're at now. We, we, we got the big daddy there. Whew. I do need some more colored shit to pitch to this chrome box, though. That is the problem. Uh, doo -doo. Worn Power Stone is good. Uh, Retrofitter Foundry? What the fuck does this do? Very so I serve nah. I do need to start getting actual colored cards, though, to be able to pitch this chrome box. That is a problem. Okay, uh, what do we got here? Turnabout, choose artifact, creatures. Untap all permanents of that type that player controls. Um, you know, we'll try this. It's, it's kind of ramp, but it also gives me something colored to pitch to that. Um, Goblin Bombardment doesn't really do anything. I think we'll grab Showdown Pass. We're getting a lot of... Re okay, Mind Slaver did table. That's good. That's very good. We wanted that. Uh, this is what? A fucking six drop or something? Yeah. We are getting a lot of red white lands. <laughs> Boy, there were some more white artifacts that mattered. <laughs> okay, I'm almost tempted to get rid of this Chrome Mox just because I have nothing to pitch to it. Like, an Academy of Ruins would be great. Um... Talarian Academy would be great. Uh, <laughs> more shit. Hellrider, some of the toss, some of the toss. I mean, I wish I had more white shit that mattered, but. I mean, it is giving us more red sources, so I can go a little bit heavier in the blue, but. Um. 
you know, we'll grab land tax. We might actually leave that in the deck. Oh, man. Bolus of Citadel would be fucking... You know what? We might leave it in the deck, even though it's completely uncastable. We might do it. Just because that would be funny. Uh, well, there, there's some more reanimator stuff, guys. I guess we should have gone that route. All right. Ooh, ooh, this is some fun stuff. Um, okay, we got a blue-red land. That's good. Um, solitude? Hey, there we go. We should get some more white. Yeah. Um, fractured identity... That actually seems kind of funny. I actually do kind of like that. I'm not going to lie. Um, we don't have enough white cards to justify solitude, and fuck that card anyways. The new Tamio. Unfortunately, I don't think... Nah, nah. She doesn't fit with what we're trying to do here, besides we don't have green mana. Um, Force of Negation wouldn't be terrible for some backup. I'm honestly kind of thinking Fractured Identity. Either Fractured Identity or the Spire Buff Canal. I mean, since we're splashing heavy and white anyways, I'm actually kind of leaning toward the Fracture Identity. That'd be funny to steal someone else's stuff. It doesn't really go with what we're doing, but it gives me something to pitch to Chrome Mox also. Uh, oh, okay, yep. Auto Select Mox Sapphire. That is correct. Oh, but there is Emrakul. Ooh. Can we pass up the Mox Sapphire? I don't think we can. It's an on-color Mox for what we're trying to do. But that Emrakul just seems so good. We'll see if it tables. We, we need the Mox. You can't pass up the Mox, especially when it's on color. Just can't do it. All right. Well, we got another. <laughs> if we want to... Oh, we do have black mana. Um, Coalition Relic isn't bad. Memory Jar. More red white lands. Shit, no one's playing that. Um, Basalt Monolith is really good. They're ready. What's this do? Um, I am tempted. We do have black mana to be able to do this. That's more mana ramp, but we've only really got a couple of big finishers to give a fuck about. Um, yeah, you know we're gonna we're gonna grab Doretti. We have ways to make black mana. Oh shit! We can do dark depths combo. Um, Phyrexian Metamorph is really good for what we're trying to do here. So I think we're probably gonna grab that. It actually is really funny. Apparently, we should have been going for big dumb shit. Uh, Lion Sash is actually pretty good, too. Um, do I want to copy my own shit? Ugh. I do need white mana to activate it, because this, this basically just hoses um, graveyard decks. Which I'm actually... You know, we're going to try it. We're going to try some new cards. Hopefully that other one tables um jesus christ okay uh do 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 field of the dead Pff, our fucking mana base looks crazy so you might as well right um here's our stupid 50 dollar card there's not really that much shit here i care about um Vora stronghold is interesting if i if they manage to kill one of these things i can always put it back on my deck um I guess we'll try it. It's time to grab more black cards than I'd like. Ooh. Well then. <laughs> We're getting all the artifact power. Um, That being said, we should have just gone big dumb shit. I'm kind of mad at myself now. All the big dumb shit is getting passed around. Batter Skull is a finisher. But again, artifact power. I, I just don't think we can pass this up. Like, you know what? We're taking it. Fuck it. We're here to do dumb shit. And a metal worker. And a God damn. Okay, um, we need more big shit. Like, we need some more high value creatures to fucking pass around here. Like, I really hope that Emercore comes back around. Um Based off of what we got here, there's not really anything we give a fuck about. Um Tend to grab the Lion's Eye Diamond, but I really don't think it matters. Uh, well, we'll grab, we'll grab the Meta Vault, actually. Ah, uh, well, it's Fire Bluff. Tabled. Damn. Oh, oh shit, it did! Emrakul tabled! Oh my god! Oh, fuck! Emrakul actually fucking tabled. Um, Memory Jar. Each player exiles all cards in their hand face down at the beginning of the end step. Each player discards their hand and returns to hand. Each player, that's... 
Alright, let's grab a card draw. <laughs> I still can't believe we might put it in the deck just for the fuck of it. We we might. Okay. Now we're just getting random stuff. It doesn't really fucking matter. I uh, I'm actually kinda tempted to put the Dark Depths Hex Mage in here just for shits and giggles. We've got like two black sources, but it would just be so funny to see that happen. <laughs> Hey, Matter Skull tabled. Okay, so nobody is in Artifact X. So that was very clearly open. <laughs> that being said, we are not going to be paired against these same people, unfortunately. Uh... And a Pyratic Ritual. Okay. So here is our janky ass bullshit. Um, we're Artifact Ramp stuff. Oh boy. Come on, Moto, don't break. Okay. So we are artifact rampy stuff, is what we got going on here. Don't give a fuck about the sideboard. None of you is coming in. Can't. No, you, you're not gonna fucking double down, are you? Fuckers. Okay. Um. So yeah. Uh, we're at 35 cards. So as much as I love this Chrome box, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've only got a quarter of our deck that we can actually pitch to it. Um, so I'm really wondering if that's worth it. Uh, it does work well with Metalworker, which is nice. Um, Bolus of Citadel is really fucking funny. I, the fact that we got Tinker, I actually think I'm going to keep that in here. Um, fractured batter skull isn't bad. Fractured identity was more just. Uh, I can pitch it to the Chrome Mox. It'd be funny to steal somebody something big. Uh, turnabout kind of works as a form of ramp. Because if we have enough mana rocks out, we're just like, oh hey, untap all of our mana rocks and go to town and ramp. Um. Okay, so I've got one fetchable land. You know what? Let's see what this says, what it recommends here. Uh, we do not actually want black. That is for sure. Um, so if we add that to deck, we got room for one more land if we were. I mean, I know that looks crazy. 13 fucking lands. Um, I, I almost feel like I want more blue mana. Like... You know, I don't think we want the planes. I think we want more blue. Because we've got plenty of red. We have plenty of red white dual lands. We have a bunch of double blue cards. And one double red. Um, I think this looks decent like I, I think this actually looks halfway decent here because we've got our lands we've got all this fucking ramp because we got all ramp 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 <laughs> um I, I'm actually kind of liking the way this is looking to be completely honest here um you know, we're here we're here to make bad decisions. I mean, like I said, it looks crazy at 13 lands. If you think about it, it's actually like 14, 15, 16, 17, extra ramp to catch us up on lands. Yeah. I actually like where we're at. We're, we're gonna give it a shot. Let me see if I can actually get this to work also. Um All right, we're, we're gonna see if I can actually get this to fucking. Oh, it, it's doing that. Oh, that's stupid. Okay. Um, here we go. That's what I want. Sure, let's do that. Do do do. See if it's in here. Okay, so clearly I still need to figure out how the fuck to do this. 
Um, okay, I was going to try to upload this onto uh, Cardboard Live, but I'm apparently a fucking moron. So we're going to go ahead and say fuck that. Yeah, y'all want to single say fuck that. Okay, let's get to playing and see how fucking bad this is. <laughs> I, I have a feeling this is going to go very, very badly. Anybody who's hopping on now, please ignore the uh, Cardboard Live. I am not playing Bant. In fact, so we'll say, uh, let's see how this crazy artifact pile of bullshit goes. Oh boy. Assuming we can find someone to play with. Come on. Okie dokie, where the fuck is everybody? Everybody, where are you? Where the fuck are you? Where the fuck are you? Do do do. Jeez, where the fuck is everybody? <laughs> oh, fuck. I swear to God, I showered, guys. Come on. Come play with me. Fuckers. We're gonna spend half of our league just trying to find a fucking opponent. God damn. Okay, let, let's try this again. Play match, please. Are you going to make me restart, Moto? Did the client break? Well, we're, we're, we're going to see. It's doing weird things. So I'm a little concerned. I'm going to try it this way. Is this actually going to work? This is what it normally looks like. I think I might have broke Moto before. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Come on. Somebody on a play. Anyone at all? We got 2,000 active players right now. Come on. Somebody can play with me. I don't want to be stuck playing with myself all night. If you know what I mean. So while we sit and wait, how's everyone doing tonight? Since everyone feels like being quiet. That that good? That good? Okay, well let, let's test our luck here since we're uh, waiting. Let's let's see if I can win some points here. Hey, I won. Okay, where the actual fuck is everybody? Um. Okay, so we're gonna take a quick break since this is doing some weird shit. And we're gonna try just restarting the client real quick. Oh, oh no, you can see my desktop, oh shit. Behold the beauty of Mephorexia. All right, come on. See, see, Phyrexians, it's a sign. It's a fucking sign. get that to actually show where it's supposed to because apparently it didn't like me changing shit come on there we go let's get that a little closer there we go okay let's see if this will fucking work now hello okay well this might be a fucking quick one if uh if the client doesn't want to fucking work, then that's, this might be an early night. We might be switching to something else. Well then. Well. Anybody else who's uh, watching right now, if you're playing Moto, let me know if the whole fucking client is doing this shit. I have no idea why I would not be able to find a match. Hmm. 
normally hey there we go finally got somebody okay okay we won the die roll let's see what we got here um show I've got some ramp but nothing I can really do for a little while um Hmm. You know, we're going to keep this actually as weird as it looks. We're actually going to give this a shot. Because what I'm thinking is, if we draw any ramp, we can get to a turn two metal worker. And then we can use metal worker, reveal warm power stone, batter skull, and then actually just play batter skull. This guy molds to six, so we'll see what the hell he's doing. Oh joy, something blue. I swear to God, if you fucking stifle me. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna grab the Sacred Foundry. We're gonna do that. <laughs> Land tax is actually kind of tempting, but I cannot take a turn off to do it. Um... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that and pass the turn. And then, so we're gonna look like an aggro deck. So he's looking a blue green something? Okay. Fran Dynamo is interesting. Um, well, I mean, you got a counter spell, you got a counter spell. Does not have a counter spell. Okay. Interesting. Grow Spiral? Oh, he's gonna dismount? Wow. Okay, that was aggressive. It's not the end of the world. And a Uro. Okay, well, luckily I have main deck ways to deal with that. Okay, so so I guess that wasn't quite as, as aggressive as it could have been. Okay, so he's getting his ramp on. We're getting our ramp on. So let's see what you got, homie. Depending on what he does, I might just play this land tax next turn. Because clearly... Oh, you cuck. <laughs> Fine. What do you want? I have a feeling he's going to take the batter skull. Uh, yep, takes the batter skull. So now the gig is up. He knows I'm doing artifacty bullshit. Um... I mean, might as fucking well. Like, I'll play the land tax. That way I might actually be taxing him on mana a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, sure, fuck it. Let's go. Start getting aggro. So this is gonna want him to be mana inefficient. Because the more lands he plays, the more lands I get. And I'm actually pretty okay with chucking this guy for to the Bomat Courier. Oh, he's doing some ninja shit. Ooh. He's playing everything's a ninja. Oh. Well then. In that case... We're gonna see what I draw. Hopefully we draw something good. I'm not gonna get any tokens out of this. Ooh, 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 blight steel. Ooh, I like it. Okay. Um unfortunately that was very mana inefficient. That's fine. We're not gonna bother getting in because I want to be able to block this thing. Also, I have once I get red mana, I have a free chuck because the blight steel is just gonna go back in. Okay, he's going to get in. I'm going to go ahead and just fucking block with the Pyromancer. Come on, do it. Oh, he's not doing it. <laughs> All right, Leovold. Okay, so he's trying to play some weird mid-rangey style shit. 
All right, so I still don't have black mana. I got one, two, three, four, five, eight, ten. So I can do that. I think we're going to pass the turn, unfortunately. So we are seeing the fact that I have no black sources being a slight problem. This land tax literally isn't doing anything anymore, but it's fine. That, that really doesn't matter that much. Okay, so now he's playing some cards. Custody Lich. You become a monarch whenever you become a monarch. Target player sacks a creature. Okay, that's fine. He's going to get some card draw, which is fine, but I can sack the Pyromancer. And then I'll just get the tokens back when he goes to attack. Okay, he's not even going to bother attacking. Or is he? No, he's still in attack phase. Um, we're going to go ahead and do this. Oh, whoops. Undo that one. Tap that one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just block. Fortunately, he does have a good source of card advantage right now. We're going to see what we can do here. Ooh. I like that. I'm a little concerned about what he might have here. Um, you know what, as risky as this is, what is the equip? Equip one? Yeah, this is a little risky, but I need to see what I draw. Oh, fuck, I punted. I forgot Leavold prevents that. God damn it. I'm an idiot. That's my bad. <laughs> That's on me, guys. <laughs> Oof. Completely forgot Leavel did that. I have not played against it in a while. All right, so let's see. I guess we're going to see what he can ninjutsu in. Hopefully it's not anything too crazy. So one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, eleven. Okay, so he, he doesn't have anything to ninjutsu in at the moment, which is good. Okay, so, um, fuck it. Need to pay four more. One, two, three, four. You got a counterspell? <laughs> if he has a counterspell, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot, I can't get rid of the Putrid Imp, which is unfortunate. So he is going to get a free one. So we're going to see what happens here. Because we're going to just start attacking with the Blight Steel because it's, it's got Trample. He has to fucking block it. All right. So he discarded his Sphinx of the Steel Wind. I'm not particularly concerned about that. I am concerned what he's going to ninjutsu in, though. Okay, so. As much as this sucks, we're going to turn Mutavol on. It sucks losing this card, but we have to. So we're going to block there. We're going to block there. We're going to block there. So this sucks. He is going to get a free ninjutsu. Hopefully he doesn't have anything too crazy. Okay, apparently he doesn't have anything. Is he a reanimator? Maybe he's just reanimator. Why did he not ninjutsu Gristlebrand in? Does he have a living death? If this is living death, then we just scoop. Oh, yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Well then, he is reanimator. Okay, yep, we're we're going to the next game. 
Luckily, we have main deck ways to deal with this. Um, this is from my graveyard, right? Yeah, from your graveyard. Okay, well, luckily we have ways to deal with this. It was unfortunate that we kind of got tripped up on mana there, which is kind of crazy, but... Okay, so now we know what the fuck they're doing. I feel like we were literally just one turn too slow there. Okay, okay, this is much, much, much better. Okay, I like where we're at here. We're keeping this. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to cast the Chrome Mox. We're going to cast a Multi Kicker, Multi Kicker 1. And then we're going to turn 2, get a Blightsteel? <laughs> as long as it doesn't have a Thought Seize, it's turn 2 Blightsteel time. Okay. So you got a counter spell, or am I going to turn 2 Blightsteel? Actually, undo that. I'm gonna leave that up. Got a counter spell? Nope. All right. Um, Blight Steel Colossus. <laughs> How are you gonna deal with that, buddy? <laughs> oh, there we go. That that's about. At, are you gonna bounce it? Do you really have a bounce spell? I was say, do you really have like a fucking unsummon or something? <sighs> that being said, our mana is fucking terrible if he has some way to deal with this. <laughs> oh. Are we get are, are we getting a salty rope? No, he's going to draw three cards to Ancestral Recall. Okay. I hope your three cards are able to deal with this. Nope. Four cards deep. Could not get it. Okay. <laughs> That's what we want to be fucking doing. That That is about as good as our deck can get. Um, What is this? This is a three drop? You know what? I'm actually kind of tempted to bring this in. We have so many mana rocks that I feel like this, if I can get it off, will just cripple our opponent. We're going to give it a go. See what happens. <laughs> that was great. Turn two, Blightsteel Colossus. I love it. All right. So we've got Lion Sash, which is actually fucking great. Um, so we're gonna keep this. We also have a way to steal his creature. Turn one Thoughtseize? Yep, let's go Thoughtseize me. What are you gonna take? I feel like he has to take the Lion Sash. Cause this actually, yeah, he takes the Lion Sash. It's legit a hard counter to what he is doing. Um, well, since the gig is up anyways, we'll play that and pass the turn. This isn't quite as exciting, but the fact that we can Fractured Identity something of his is actually kind of good. Um, uh, Duretti ain't bad, Duretti ain't bad. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and cast this just to get some ramping on, because we can actually Duretti next turn and start churning through our deck and doing some shit. We can actually, we actually could get the Lion's Ash back. And then I don't know if he's got a way to deal with it. Okay, going to get a Woe Strider. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. I actually think that's what we want to do, to be completely honest here. Like, it kind of sucks getting rid of some of our ramp. But... Yeah, I, I think that's what we're actually going to do here. We're gonna get back Lion Sash. We're gonna sacrifice the Everflowing Chalice. 
And now we have a way to deal with this graveyard. And I've got multiple white sources of mana to be able to do it multiple times. I mean, we saw a dismember, so I mean, that's a little concerning, but it's not the end of the world. Unless that's literally what he's doing right now. Okay, he does have the dismember. Okay. I mean, it's running them out of shit to do, so that's not the end of the world. It's just a question of... Okay, he is going after the Doretti, which is actually kind of okay. It, again, it's not the end of the world. Um, that hurts a little bit. Um, we're just going to... Yeah, we're going to chuck the lands, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I mean, that's a thing. We actually can't... We actually could put him to zero lands. While annoying, again, not the end of the world. Uh, he seems to be going a little slow here. But we'll see. <laughs> Here's what he's doing now. Sort of body and mind. Okay. I actually can steal that and it'd be funny. Um, okay, so we got a Rakdos Signet. It's not bad. Um, yeah, I think we're going to play this. Because we're going to wait a turn. Because we can, yeah, okay, hold on, let's see here. Yeah, because we can block the Woe Strider with this, it'll die, I really don't care about that. And then it allows me to Fractured Identity of the Sword of Body and Mind, and then throw it on a token, which would be really fucking funny. Okay, he's getting in. Doesn't protect you from this guy. Um, this is five, right? Yeah, so I can't do it anyways. Yeah, that's fine. Huh. So I've got the Chrome Mox. Hmm. This is interesting. <sighs> do I want the sort of body of mind or do I want the Woe Strider? I think I want the Woe Strider actually. Oh, I can't because okay, so I have to go after that anyways. That that's fine. So we'll get the sort of body in mind. I am, I'm starting to get tempted to just say fuck. Okay, so he's going to draw a bunch of cards. I'm kind of getting tempted to say fuck and just blow up the lands at this point. I don't like where we're at. Him being able to deal with the Lion Slash twice. <laughs> You're scared for me? Yes, be scared for me. Okay, so actually maybe... Did he still not draw lands from that? Do you really not? Okay, there's a land. What are you doing, buddy? Ancestral Vision. Okay. So we got Emrakul. How many card types do I have in the graveyard? Land, Planeswalker, Lions. How much does this cost? It costs eight. So I'm actually kind of close to that. Okay, um, 
we're gonna go ahead and do this we're gonna play him we're still gonna hold on to this because well actually eh? yeah i think i'm gonna hold on to it we're gonna go ahead and equip the sort of body of mine for now i don't know if this is the correct choice or not but we're going to um just so i sort of have a threat i think next turn i can play the emmer cool which hopefully i can just fuck him over with Okay, so he is hitting lands now. So honestly, I think what I'm going to do is if I get the chance to, if I can Emrakul next turn, I'm going to Emrakul. What? What are you doing, buddy? I'm always concerned about what's going on here. <laughs> okay, so he's getting a Custody Lich. That's unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Um, Actually, shit, that might have just fucked up my plan. God damn it. Huh. You're so close. Okay, let's see what we're doing here. Uh, I'm not particularly liking where we're at here. Uh, him be, uh, dealing with that Lion Sash twice kind of fucking wrecked us. Okay, so I'm still looking at eight, right? I got one, two, three, four. Five. God, I'm not even fucking close. Um... Fuck. Okay, we're fucking seasoned pyromancering. This, this is unfortunate. Um, what? Hold on. There we go. Fucking moto. Um, yeah, this sucks, but I'm doing it. Okay. We're going to see where this goes. Oh boy. I do not like where we are at. Not at all, not at all. You heading out, Murph? So he's getting in with both. As much as this sucks. Let's block there. I don't really have anything in the graveyard. I mean, yeah, he's just gonna get in with that. This is a very unfortunate position to be in. But we'll see. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. There's some hope here, depending on what his fucking folder for cards is. <sighs> for fuck's sake! All right. Well, three O dream probably isn't happening. That's unfortunate. Just gonna play a Tovalar's Hunt Master. All right. Yeah. I, I. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. He got it. Fuck. If he had. God damn it. That fucking thought sees. All right. Well, on to the next one. We got to see our game do something. No, that was game three. Uh, game one. I was like a turn too late getting down the Blightsteel Colossus. I didn't know he was on a Living Death deck. So uh, he just pitched a bunch of shit. I thought he was doing ninjutsu stuff because I saw the new Umazawa. So I was trying to make sure I had a bunch of little creatures on the board. And then all of a sudden he drops a Putrid Imp and chucks like Gristlebrand and fucking Tovalar's Huntmaster in the graveyard and Living Deaths. So I'm like, oh shit, that's what he's doing. Uh, game two, I had a sweet turn two Blightsteel Colossus. And that one, I mean, you saw, he, he just ground us out. We'll see what we can do here. Well, we got Tinker. Uh, we don't have any ramp, which is unfortunate, but we're going to keep it. Um, Just for the sake of getting it out there, we're going to go ahead and start off. 
we're gonna see what we get. Sort of God, if this is another turn one. Oh my God! Why does everyone draft discard? This is the second deck in a row that just has turn one discard. Fuck your shit. And there goes the whole reason I kept this hand. <sighs> All right. Well, this is already off to an absolutely terrible start. Apparently everyone is just playing mid rangey stuff today. Well, hashtag deck thinning. Let's see how this goes. I feel like the last few times I've fucking played Magic Online, like, it has just been absolutely god-awful matchups. And, like, obviously fucking the deck's not wanting to work and my draw is being terrible. It's like telling me I should just give up Magic sometimes. Fuck. <laughs> So much for making everyone else salty. I'm apparently going to be the salty one now. Alright, what else you got, buddy? No. Just, no. What are we doing? Liliana of the Veil. Okay, that's fine. You want to discard some shit? I'm okay with that. I will gladly discard this turnabout. Cause it ain't doing shit anyways. You're trying to build an MTG team, I'm not allowed to quit. I'm gonna quit if I want to, god damn it. <laughs> I knew I should have fucking pivot. I should have pivoted into fucking reanimator. No one was drafting it. I just wanted to do something different than what I normally do. Um fuck me. Okay. Um I mean, ugh, fuck. We're not getting this fucking thing off anyways. Yeah, fuck it. We're, we're gonna drop the Thran Dynamo. We're just gonna keep ramping and hope we get to the point where I get something too big for him to deal with. I don't think we're gonna get the Mind Slaver anyways. Like, if he wants to up, I'll discard the Mind Slaver. I think that's the correct option. And then just hope that this Esper Sentinel lives and then I can go clamp it to draw some cards or something. Gonna come pimp slap me? All right, bye bye, Mind Slaver. Ugh, what is up with people? Nobody fucking plays cube to play mid range. I was mad when I fucking drafted it because I didn't want to. <laughs> Who actively drafts mid range? Seriously, what the actual fuck? Okay, apparently he wants to see what I'm drawing. Hopefully it's on good. Do you leave it on top? Do you put it on bottom? It does it. Did he put it on top or bottom? It didn't say. All right, what am I drawing? I'm drawing a Lotus Bloom. Okay. Well then. I know this seems stupid, but I need to draw some goddamn cards. Um, that's actually not the end of the world. Unfortunately, I can't do anything with the young Pyromancer. You know, we're going for it. We're, we're just going to keep going. Like, pass the turn. Try to ramp into something. I can pop the Sunday Cannon if need be. Unfortunately, even a Blightsteel Colossus isn't going to run this fucking Jace. We might just be going to game two. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I 
I do have a lot of mana, which is nice. <laughs> yes, I, I will discard Season Pyromancer. That's fine. I can get it back and then start doing dumb shit. Seer, the second deck in a row with a fucking Leovold? Really? <sighs> All right. What do I draw? Mutable. Yeah, we're going to the next game. He's just going to ultimate the Lillian. We're fucked. Okay, that... <sighs> fucking turn one discard. Two fucking games in a row. <sighs> For fuck's sake. Hmm. Fuck it, we'll run it back. We'll see what happens. <laughs> this is this is not. He's gonna mull for turn one discard. I fucking guarantee it. Which is the really fucking annoying part. Um. This is super tempting. If I draw another land, do I risk it? Do I believe that I can draw another mana source? Because this would be fucking sweet, because I could turn to deck, or I could turn to peasy, or I could turn to metal worker. And oh, fuck it. No balls, right? Let's keep it. <clears throat> Guarantee you he's mulliganing for fucking turn one discard. Alright, play the mountain. And pass turn. And pray for a fucking land. Oh, he doesn't have the turn one Inquisition. Oh, ooh, that is the farthest thing from a land. <laughs> okay. Apparently the greed was real. Pack rat. Okay. Land? Please? Yeah, so, okay. That, that, that's how tonight's gonna go, okay. Okie dokie. You didn't tell me to mulligan! And a grist? Interesting. Well, at least I got a counterspell out of the way. Okay, no, we're done. We're going to the next one. <laughs> okay, so we're going for the 2-1. We're, we're just hoping that I can get enough to maybe hop in another league real quick. If this fails, we might go hop over to the uh, two-player queue re real quick, because this is... This is... Eh. <laughs> that was fucking painful. Apparently, I am the one who is being salty tonight. Yes, it, it's all her fault. It's always her fault. God, why did I get married? <laughs> uh, well, shit, I'm looking at it, and there, there's not even anyone to fucking raid tonight. If we end up fucking canceling this one early, uh, we got Zydax PC and then a cosplayer. <laughs> Go ahead, tell her that. She already knows. Well then. Apparently we can't find anyone to play against either. No, nobody else is doing as poorly as I am. Alright, can can I at least get my 50 play points? <laughs> uh, and we don't even win the die roll. Well, we already learned we don't keep this fucking one in no landers. Okay, this, this I can do things with. We're going to go ahead and keep this. We're going to go ahead and put Mind Slaver to the bottom. This I can do things with. Watch fucking turn. Oh, oh my god, it's not turn one discard. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, we, we can do fun things now. 
All right, we're gonna play that. Go get some blue and white mana. Go get a land. Gonna go grab a sacred foundry and hit myself a little bit. And turn one signet. Not a bad start, not a bad start. Hopefully we can win this and we don't go fucking 0-3. Okay, Mox Emerald. Somebody else got some Moxen. Ramanoth Excavator. Interesting. What do we got? Boshmat Courier. So... I think I'm going to play him. Get some card draw on. Going to check the Bowman and the Esper Sentinel. Okay, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so I can play the Doretti next turn. Maybe not. Okay, so so we got an asshole playing Ponza. Well, here's hoping to draw a land. Um, I'll take it. Fuck it. I don't care. It's going away anyways. So we got this fucking asshole trying to play Ponza. Um, yeah, so I guess we're going to play the Skull Clamp first. And try to draw some cards. Hello. So apparently this is the vintage cube where nobody wants to draft broken shit and everyone just wants to play controlly mid-range shit. Okay. Get some cards. Again, more things are about as far from land as you can possibly get. Is he gonna keep the Avalanche Raiders around? I'd assume not. Unless he has literally nothing to do. Oh, oh, okay. He's keeping him around. Interesting choice. He's gonna get in. Um No, I'll hang on to that for now. Alright, let's see. Ah, uh, land. Okay, got to land. Das ist gut, das ist gut. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do this while I can then. Whoops. Play Duretti. Duretti Spaghetti. And start building up a board. Okie dokie. So now I've got a board. Now I can start doing things. I have a repeatable sacrifice outlet. Yeah, I know. No fucking lands. I, I, I'm not here to play resource management. I am here to kill shit. I feel like this is a board wipe. <laughs> um, You know what? Just to be safe. Or, wait, are both? Oh, they're both going after Doretti? Huh. We'll block one of them. Apparently he really does not want me having this Doretti. What else are you going to do? You got a Lightning Bolt or something to finish it off? No. Eternal Witness to get back Avalanche. Okay. Okay, so apparently he's just going to go to try to blow up my island. <laughs> hey, guess what, motherfucker? Look what I got. <laughs> See, we don't need lands. We just play artifacts. Who needs lands? Come on. Um, we're gonna make a dude. So I've got what? One, two, three, four. I'm about to lose one. Yes, I have a batter skull. Damn it. <laughs> um. Hmm. So I've still only got four mana, which is a little unfortunate. I can play the Lion Sash? 
to have another blocker. You know, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to play the Lion Sash, have another blocker. I'm going to get in with... Why, why isn't it letting me attack? Oh, it has to... Oh, I didn't realize I had Defender. Eh, I'm an idiot. Is he going to... Is he gonna get rid of his Ewit? No, okay. That's actually kind of fine with me. Um, since that doesn't matter anyways. Come on, Lance. Hey! Okay, I like where we're at. Hey, hey Logan, you wanna see something funny? You, you, you wanna see something funny? <laughs> he, wow, he is just all about land destruction. Yeah, Xeno Weasel. That Xeno Weasel is Logan. Okay, what is he? Oh, he's fighting the Lion Sash. That's fine. That's fine. I really don't care about that. He'll learn how to read. What do you mean, learn how to read? Is this, oh, this is all gonna, yeah, that's fine. I'll let you kill already. I really don't fucking care about that. You're, you're about to learn the hard way what's gonna happen here. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, we're going to tap that for mana. Um, Tinker? <laughs> Sack a skull clamp? <laughs> you wanna see me fracturing gusted? And we got a blight steal. <laughs> Yes, I I realized that. I, I I never played with that version of Doretti. I don't fucking know what's in it. What are you doing? Really? That's rude. What are these fucking decks today? Seriously, what the fuck are these decks today? Well, this this is this is not good. To I'm clearly learning that I just should not be playing magic. Whenever it attacks, well, that's over. <laughs> On to game two. <laughs> Let, let's just be salty and bring an Armageddon. I don't, I don't care. If I don't get lands, you don't get lands. <sighs> oh, fuck. That was terrible. Oh, my God. What are with these hands? I mean, I guess we're going to do this and see what happens. Um, I think we're going to put Leviathan to the bottom. And you want to start blowing up my lands, you're going to start giving me lands. What are you getting for food, dude? Oh, man. I, the O3 dream is alive and well. This is just so fucking bad. All right, Steve, hey, it's me. All right, so the question is, and that's sitting in my hand. Um, I actually think I want to do the metal worker. Whoops. Jim and Jenny's. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right. Well, with how this is going, Dose. Okay, so it's mildly concerning to me that he's not doing anything right now. Um, all right, so still. Hmm. Enter. So what are the chances this happens again and it gets exiled? 
Just what are the chances? T take an odds here. What do we think? Do I say fuck it and go for it? Because what are the fucking chances? You know what? We came here to game. We're going to fucking game. Uh, doo -doo -doo. If I get blown out again. All right, make sure I grab the right fucking one. Where the hell are you? Blightsteel, Colossus. I swear to God. <laughs> if he has some way to deal with this. He doesn't have mana for Karn. Do you have a way out of this? Garrick. That doesn't get you out of it. Okay, so now I get to start getting lands, which is nice. Yes, I want to use land taxes ability. We are going to get another mountain. Oh, I get Oh, I get three? Again, another card I have not played with that I clearly don't know. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um unfortunately I feel like I have to kill the Garrick. Uh, we're going to discard the Citadel and the Turnabout. Sundown Pass and a Fractured Identity. Like, as much as this sucks, I cannot risk him getting enough mana to be able to get a Karn. Like, it really sucks going after the Garrick, but I have to. I cannot risk him getting a Karn at this point. Because Karn is about the only thing that can answer this fucking blade steel. Worm coil engine. Okay, interesting. Um You wanna know what sounds like fun? Should we fracture Gus or a fractured identity? He's going after the Duretti, that's fine. I I'm actually I'm about to do some fun stuff. Should should we fractured identity the uh, worm coil engine? Should we do it? We're gonna thin the deck. Oh, and I get a lotus bloom. Okay. Um. You know what? I, fuck. It's lethal. So whoops. Doop 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 doop. And this should be lethal. <laughs> There's fear in Dojo Steve. <laughs> and you die. <laughs> Alright, so secret is keep him off card. <laughs> um hmm. The bidding was worth just like bringing anything else in for the hell of it. <laughs> nah, we're we're probably fine. I mean smokestack's kinda funny. Tax the shit out of him too, but nah, we'll 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 keep doing this. Well, we'll just hope for the super quick uh, tinker again. Um, so we have lands. I technically have card draw. Do I keep this or do I go for something more busted? This, this is a lot slower than I would like, but it's got lands and card draw. Ugh. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, what do I do, guys? What do I do? You know what? We know he's on land destruction. I have ways to draw cards. We're, we're going to keep it. It's not what I want to see, but we're going to keep it. Okay. Pyromancer makes me feel a little bit better. Okay, okay. Lands and spells, lands and spells. We'll very quickly pitch these. <laughs> yes, draft expert starters. Okay, so he's getting his ramp on. That's 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 mildly unfortunate. 
Um, we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to get this in next turn. We're going to Pyromancer and hope we draw some shit. Because Tezzeret isn't terrible. I'm trying to think what I could get for four right off the bat. Because I don't have any mana rocks, so there's nothing to really... What, what do we got? Is, it, is this an Avalanche Rider? Are you going to try to start hitting my lands now? No, it's a Garrick. So is he just going for... Is he trying to ramp into... What, oh, what are you doing? What are you playing? Okay, so he's just ramping like crazy. That Armageddon would be pretty fucking sweet right about now. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so we're... Not that it matters, but we're going to hit the Garrick. The Fractured Identity is nice. We're going to go ahead and Young Pyromancer and hope I hit some fucking lands. Luckily, this does give us multiple... Oh, fuck. I hit a land. I didn't play it. Oh, I'm an idiot. Wait, no. No, I didn't. I didn't play off curve. It's fine. I'm only mildly paying attention. It's whatever. Um, Dockside Extortionist. Okay, so he's all about fucking... What the fuck are you doing? So he's got four... What are you doing? Sakura Tribe Elder. So I don't think he has a finisher. Just based off of what he's doing. Um, actually, Dockside Extortionist could... Oh my god, I want to do it so bad. I don't have the mana though. Fuck. Oh, that'd be hilarious. Um, so I've got four mana. As much as this sucks. I gotta draw a card. Mana? Mana. Okay. Um, so I think we're good here so as long as i don't die next turn but we'll see there, there is a very high possibility we might die here <laughs> that being said as long as he doesn't hit a land okay so he's gonna escape from the wilds what are you exiling Oh, he's got his own Blightsteel Colossus. Ooh. I kind of want him to play it. Like, I almost want to let him get enough mana to play it. Because then we can steal it. <laughs> okay, he's going to have to the Beaumont Courier. That's fine. And what? He's going to play Sylvan Library? Okay. So does he have enough mana is the question. Because like I said, I, I actually almost want him to play it. Because we can steal it because it would be fucking hilarious. Okay, so we've got some lands. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I think we just do this. As weird as this seems... Trying to think, what's in our deck that I can get for three or four? How much would this cost? That costs ten still. Um, I'm trying to think, what do we have in our deck for four? I know we've got three and Dynamo. Uh, wait, hold on. Can I see my deck? Well, 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 let me see. How do I see my deck? Oh, that, that's disappointing. Okay, so that's not working. I know there's a way you can see your deck. Um, you know what? Fuck it. We're actually we're gonna go for three. So hopefully it lives. Let's see what we can get.
Okay, what do we actually have here that I can use? Okay, so, hold on a second. Saka add three mana of any color? That's actually not a terrible idea. No, I think we're gonna do that. Cause that actually ramps us even further. And like I said, I, I actually kind of want to see if they play this Blade Steel Colossus, because it'd be fucking hilarious if we steal it. This is what he's got. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, fuck, he took a bunch. Ten? I think he's got ten mana? Okay, go ahead. Keep whittle my board down. That's fine. Is he just going to play the Kagla? Okay, he's just playing Kagla. That's fine. That's actually pretty okay. He's going for the Metal Worker. Yeah, that's still fine. Untap two lands. So he's not going to play his Blade Seal Colossus. Okay, what are you going after? Because this is a little annoying. All right, he is going after the Light Source. Oh, they're both going after Tez. That's fine. Tez can die. So Blight Seal goes away. I draw another land. Problem is, is he's got a fuck load of mana. Um, I'm tempted to grab the Kogla. If I grab the Dockside Extortionist, I'm actually gonna get one, two, three, four more treasures. How much does this cost? We're at eight. I actually have enough to play Emmercool. You know, I think that's actually what we're going to do. You know, fuck it. We came here to game. Let's play fucking Emmercool. Uh, let's make triple black just for the hell of it. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's see what we do here. Um, he's at what? He can get a Karn. Do I want him to get the Karn? He's going to get it either way, so I don't think it really matters. You know, we're going to have him grab all of them. Um, we'll put that one on first. Oh, no, that's what's in his hand. Okay. Okay, what am I missing here? Uh, no. We're gonna let die. Silver Library. What do we have here? Um, do do do. What cards can you get? Use Silver Library's ability? So. Yes. Okay, so we got a sneak attack. I'm kind of tempted to just let him take all of them, put him to two. So what is this? Flying trample protection from instance. Exile target permanent. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to make him pay eight. Pay four. Pay four. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. Because unfortunately, this Karn is an answer for my Emrakul. Um, hmm. <laughs> 
So he's a two. Can I make him pay more life for something is the question. I don't think so. All right, so we're gonna start with this. Um, we're gonna have you ping that. Oh shit, it can't exile itself. Good point. Thank you. Two, three, Karn. Boom, 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 boom. Pay one. Play the Karn. Thank you for pointing that out. Very much so. Thank you. Single, 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 single. Get rid of that. Um. We're going to Eternal Witness. We'll let you get back Steve, because it's pretty pointless. Um, yeah, you can have that back. Really? Ugh, so many clicks, so many clicks. We'll let you get Steve, because I really don't give a fuck. You know what, no. You actually don't get anything back. Fuck you. Um, do do do. How could I kill them? How could Rena Six have killed him? He'd be at one. Ugh, okay, whoops. We're gonna go ahead and do that. We're going to regrowth. Back a Steve. I think. Just because it's fucking pointless. You can have your Steve back. We're going to move to combat. The sneak attack is a little worrying to me, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, begin combat. We're going to have you swing with your Kogla. Unfortunately, it gets rid of my Skull Clamp. It's not a May ability, right? No. Okay. So Skull Clamp goes bye-bye. Okay. His hand being in the way is mildly annoying here. I guess I don't get how you would have pinged him twice. All right, I don't think there's anything else I can do, right? He's all tapped out. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see what happens. <laughs> can you get around an Emrakul? You do have a sneak attack, which is mildly annoying. So what is the one card that you got? Is it something that answers Emrakul? Because this has flying. Nissa, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, true. I guess I didn't see the line. I don't know. I was just trying to figure out how to make him have, like, no cards in hand if possible. It was more so what I was trying to go for. Okay. Okay. I don't think this gets him out of it. So the Nissa was the new card that he got. Okay, the Tovar's Huntmaster doesn't get you out of it either. Okay. Like, I don't think this gets you out of it, right? Yeah, small green and small PP. <laughs> okay. I, I don't think this does anything, though. Okay. I'm still like 99% sure he's dead. Get plus three plus... Oh, is that enough? No, that's still not enough. Because he's only attacking with four. Because I'll be able to eat two of this. Yeah, no, no. he He's still dead. Because I can eat there and then... I actually don't even have to eat either of these.
So I'll go to seven, and then I kill him on the back rack. Hey! <laughs> All right, we got there. Um. So two, one and two, not 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 what I wanted. Um, really annoying that we faced a whole bunch of fucking mid range shit. So very weird for Vintage Cube, but oh well. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Any of you who don't already know me personally, like these two assholes, go ahead and uh, follow me on the socials there. Facebook, Instagram, to check out what I'm going to be streaming. YouTube, to watch the replays of this bullshit. Um, yes, play bad, win anyways. That's my motto. <laughs> anyways, guys, y'all uh, have a good one. Next week, the stream is going to be a little fucked up. I got some uh, mandatory training in person next Wednesday, so I won't be streaming on Wednesday. Probably going to be Tuesday instead. But like I said, check the Facebook, Instagram, figure out when I'm going to be streaming. I always make an announcement when I'm hopping on here. Um, occasionally do some surprise ones, too, that I wasn't planning on. Uh, might do some this weekend. We'll see. But uh, anyways, y'all have a uh, good rest of your night. Thanks for stopping by. And hopefully I'll eventually get better at this stupid fucking game. Peace.